I like getting off the thing. <gasps> Hi y'all, just wanted to show you this behind the scenes video and I'm going to show you guys just kind of how everything went in making this crazy stupid project. Uh, just wanted to show y'all kind of how I'm doing the lights. I did them with brick stuff lights which are really useful. Um, they're super small and they can fit in the tiniest cracks. You see, they I just fit them in between the bricks, and I got two for Finn that are white, actually, so I can use them for other things, and these are red, and they're really good because they really bring a sense of realism into the film that the lightsabers are actually there, which I hate to break your, your suspicions, but I don't have actual lightsabers. So, I want to show you guys how I did the main lights. Uh, so I have the back, very back light, which will add some kind of you know, filler to it, and I got the main lamps, which are pointed upside down at the ceiling, and then the brick stuff lights, which really add that lightsaber glow, making it seem like they're actually in the shot. Here's another example of just how useful the brick stuff lights are in making these video. Some animators ask, how do you stay animating when it's tough? Not a sponsor. One of the tricks I used for some of the shots was instead of having them actually walk, I just had them on the plates with some clay in the legs. Fortunately, this kind of broke my minifigure's legs, so I don't exactly recommend it, but it made it easier to slide them around. Hmm. An animator's worst nightmare. There's been like, they, they just love those lamps. Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 where are we going? Where are we going? So I'm leaving Sunday tomorrow, but I just finished all the section two today, um, today on Saturday, and I'm leaving tomorrow, so I'm going to try and get as much done as I can in like 10 hours, but, but that's about it. So while I was gone, I was able to get most of the editing done for the whole Finn section and the beginning section. Um, yeah. Think you're fat? You might just be bloated. Find out by calling now for a free trial of New Biotics, the new breakthrough that flattens bloated bellies fast. For a free trial, call 1-800-700-6757. What was that? Uh, just wanted to say, it's like Monday, I want to say like 14th of March. I'm trying to finish my, uh, my film by like Saturday, 20th. But gosh, man, I still have like 26, 27 shots to do. So a lot of shots. Um, and I've already done like 40 of the whole film. So that's that's a good chunk. Um, but it could, it, it can be done. Just probably not, but you know, I'm going to try. Um, so yeah. Hey guys, it's like 5 a.m. I'm still animating. I actually went to bed at 12, now I just, I just woke up again, and um, just getting back to animating, I feel like a sack of crap. Hey guys, uh, just wanted to show you guys kind of how I'm doing this next shot, it's probably the most complicated right before I end, um, I just have it leaning on the table, and you can see it just, it just works pretty good, just kind of looking like a top-down view. I am, and I'm just gonna do the the spinning in post, just because it's it'd be impossible to do that spinning move, and it's not really gonna be noticeable, um, just because it's a small bit, not a huge amount. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to kind of show you guys how I did this. After hours of filming, my knees look like they're infected with something. Oh my gosh, look at those beautiful red knees. So I literally have like two shots left and his leg just friggin' breaks. I <laughs> hope nobody notices. I just finished up 
the final shot of a lightsaber duel, so that's, that's awesome. Now I just have, uh, like, two days to do editing, so we're gonna make it through. Hey guys, uh, so this is a kind of behind-the-scenes look at the VFX work, and I'm just doing this in a speed ramp form to show you kind of guys how I'm doing this. Right now I'm just kind of setting the time code changes to make it right by changing the frame rate and changing the time to match my shot. Uh, yeah, so I'm positioning it a little bit because I do have that one frame where the thing is not supposed to be there. So get rid of that. And there you go. You got that, like, you know, there. Is a, we're going to add an exposure. So there you go. And now will lighten up Finn's face because it's kind of dark because he's kind of black. No racism intended. Uh, but yeah, just kind of lighten up the scene and kind of darken down the highlights a little bit just to give it that... Uh, dark film. Adding the snow, kind of skipped through that a little bit, and now I'm gonna add the tint of blue, just to make it seem like it's a snowy, bluey planet. Okay, so now we got the masks, which will be overlaid, and that'll make it seem like a field of depth, because we'll have the back layer of snow, which will be a lot lighter, and the much harder compact snow over top of the mask layers. So there you can see that, and I did that through adding a solid, just keep the color out so then next we got to add the lens flare effect which will be the clashing of the lightsabers I'm just gonna add that to add to get that black out so now I uh, key keyframe the whole position of the lens flare I'm also keyframing the position or the brightness and now we got to do the lightsaber so the lightsaber is just done with a solid and just mask out the points that you want. So I have to move around those points every single frame in order to get it to be like following the lightsaber so it I can add the effect. So what I'm doing in this whole part is I'm following the lightsaber. And you can see one of the things that I do to make it really seem lifelike is I make the lightsaber uh, kind of bend out every time it moves fast. It doesn't keep exactly to its shape, and that's what lightsabers do in the actual film, so it seems like it's actually in camera. So I'm speeding right away through this, and once I've got that all keyed out, as in following the whole thing, I'm going to duplicate the layer a bunch of times. And what this will do is it will allow me to add more and more feathered layers. So as you can see, I'm going to duplicate the layer a bunch of times after I make the opacity mask back to 100. So there you go. Uh, gonna feather it just a little bit, and now duplicate it. So now I'm gonna make each layer just a little bit more feathered to really give that glowing effect. The first one's 10, then I do 15, 30, 60, and 180. And I have to do it to both masks, because I had multiple masks on that one for the time where it goes through Kylo's head and needs two different masks. And so now, the other thing to make it blue is I make each uh, layer a little bit more darker blue, except for the main layer, which is white. And there you go. Now you have that blue lightsaber glow. And we're going to make that its own comp so that I can add effects to it if I need to all by itself. And yes, I listen to Justin Bieber. Don't question. So now we got to do Kylo Ren's lightsaber. And it's a lot more complicated shape. It's more of an upside down T. And it's going to be harder to mask past that, but that's what we're doing. If you didn't know, we're keyframing the mask past each time. And that's all we're doing right there, as you can see in the bottom left. And just moving those points. So that's what we're doing again. Following the lightsaber. And again, we're doing the vwoming. I think that's what I'm calling it, vwoming. Where when it moves, it is going to extend out into more of a V shape than just a normal rectangle. So you can see... As I speed along through this, it is all done. And now I gotta make sure it's feathered again. And before I duplicate that layer, I gotta add the blur because it is being in front of the other one, which is so it'll be more blurred. So now I gotta add the turbulent displace, which is the effect I use to make that wavy, weird Kylo Ren lightsaberish thing. Right now it looks pretty weird, but I'm gonna lower those a bit the amount and size and then I'm gonna keyframe or key the yeah keyframe the evolution so that it uh, changes throughout the thing so I'm gonna put a 10 there 
And at the other end, I'm gonna put in something else. I'm gonna duplicate the turbine that this place to get even more craziness and make them go in opposite directions so that it's even more crazy. And that's what really gave that Kylo Ren lightsaber look. So then we got the same thing as the last time. We gotta duplicate the layer a bunch of times. And each one is more feathered. And also one thing I did to make it seem more fiery was I made each layer a bit more red. The other ones are more orangish while the one, other ones are more red. So you can see that fiery Kylo Ren lightsaberish look. And just for a second I'm going back to the other one for some reason. Cause you know I'm doing this live. Cause I'm this fast. And there you go, it's all rendered out. You got the lightsaber on top of the lightsaber, fighting like glory. And we're all done.